Well, I think the, the big mistake is that they are really imposing a system um, and, and tweaking the system constantly, assuming that the method is, is the most important thing, rather than to get back to the simple uh, message that Jesus brings and to wait upon the Holy Spirit of God to do the work in those that uh, are to follow. So there's, I think, too much man orientation, too much tweaking of the process. Also a lack of intentionality, a lack of intensiveness. Uh, there tends to be this desire to, to get a, a, a rather shallow commitment to Jesus and, uh, and, and present perhaps the wrong message in order to attract more followers of the program versus followers of Jesus. So, and I think they miss the, the major message of what it is to be a disciple, and that is to receive the words, repent of our sins, and turn in faith to Jesus Christ. Also, there's a separation of what I would call evangelism and discipleship, in which there's maybe a, a, an initial message of faith, repentance, but then there isn't a continual process in which we're discipling people in the ways of Christ and, and encouraging an ongoing uh, trust and uh, life of repentance. Uh, also there's another aspect to this and this is a, a separation of knowledge in life or faith in life and uh, that's a problem as well. So the idea of separating evangelism and discipleship is the same problem of separating faith and life. The idea that you can believe or you can know something about Jesus, but it doesn't really reflect itself in our manner of life. So that, that's been a real problem and it's created a shallow church, uh, a watered down church. Uh, it, we tend to want to gravitate towards attracting more into the church but we're attracting a growing apostate generation. And uh, the end result is way, way more of the wood, hay, and stubble than it would be the gold, silver, and precious stones at the end of the day.